Well, hello there, you beautiful and amazing people. I am some guy called Art, and welcome to the channel. So, Major League Rugby is about to start their fifth league season of their history. And I thought I would have a big deep dive in all the clubs, the new guys, the old guys, and see what they have to offer. Now, I've been seriously impressed with a lot of the clubs. They have offered so much to the fans, whether it's the whole experience of the day, or whether it's the little things they do, whether it's including the kids in there, being such a family-orientated club. It has been phenomenal to see that they are pushing this, pushing this, and pushing this. Hello, Dante Fires, just through that. Oh, you're gonna have a good time. Just being a bit... And... Well done. Well done, guys. You have done a absolute stellar job. So, I hear you say, what is Major League Rugby? I kind of say it's a bit like the seriousness of the Premiership. With Sivens Rugby, that razzmatazz, the flair, the huge passing, all the running rugby. And then you fuse it together to do with what all Americans do with their sport. And create this just crazy flamboyant razzmatazz that they have with all their sports and It is a great product to see. Now, before we get any further into the video, I'd like to ask you to please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I really do appreciate it. Do it. It means so much to grow this channel. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, today we are looking at the LA Guiltinis. Now, I believe that they are owned by the same owner as the Austin Gilgronis. A Giltini is a cocktail, I think, judging by their badge. It certainly does suck. It's somewhat like a martini. Hard pass. But yeah, LA are the defending champions. They came in with this superstar lineup. Great players. And... Yeah, you can see here with the likes of Adam Ashley Cooper last season, Matt Ghetto, Dave Dennis, they had an incredible team full of internationals, whether Australian, Canadian, American, a few South Africans, a few Scots in there. Yeah, it was an impressive, impressive team. And yeah, no one could really beat them, to be honest. I think they only lost once and then easily got to the final and Lo and behold, won the final. So, yeah. LA has a team now. So let's have a nosy at the team. I mean, straight away, Henko Gelben Hayes. Great back forward for the US. Really, really great. I mean... Already. With a few of the players that I've seen in this team. It's impressive, this squad. When you look all the way across here, I mean, Justice here, Staru, old Leicester prop, played around Canada, played for Seattle. I think he's also played in France. He's played for a couple other clubs in England. And now he's at LA. Decent, decent prop. Very awkward to play against with some guys, but not bad, not bad. I mean, DTH, Van de Merva, the Canadian international one of the best players to play pro rugby in scotland he is just incredible he just scores for fun great running rugby just i don't know what else to say about him just guy scores for fun played for glasgow played for the scarlets now he's in la yeah he, he is incredible billy meeks great Australian centre. 
think he played for Irish and I can't remember who else he played for, but he played for London Irish. Another great signing. Sean McNulty, great hooker. I, I just keep these names are just rolling off the tongue. Let me just Matt Gitto. I'll come to a bit a minute. Matt Gitto. I mean, look, Carty, fly half. Yes, international. Absolutely quality. Dave Dennis, captain of Australia, played for Exeter, won the league in England. He's won a lot in Australia. He's won a lot with Australia. <laughs> Incredible. Adam Ash. Adam Ash. Scotland International. Incredible with Scotland. Incredible with Glasgow. Sadly left on bad terms, but he is now in LA. Oh my God, he is incredible. That that is a hell of a signing. Angus Cottrell as well, another one. I mean, Angus Cottrell, Adam Ash, and uh, Hegel Gelden Hayes. What back row just there? But Matt Gitto is is the star name of this squad. How dare you! Australian International World Cup Finals. I mean, I could I could just roll off the, what he's won, and I'd be quicker to say what he's not won. That Hansel's so hot right now. But he has won a lot. He was part of the Galacticos of Toulon when they had the world's best players, and they done. The triple back to back when in Europe three times in a row. No one has ever done that. <laughs> Cheese bucket! <laughs> and he was part of that. Along there with like Fernandez Lobby, Johnny Wilkinson, Manonu, Drew Mitchell, Carl Heyman. Incredible. But if you don't believe me, let's have a little look at Matt Gitto and how good. This man is. I mean, he can kick, he can run, he can do everything he wants. He plays a few positions. Just incredible. A great step. Cut back in, straight through and through one. And he played for this incredible Toulon team that just destroyed everyone. What a step. Now he can play 10, 12, 13. Could probably put on the wing. Could probably scrum half as well. What a pass. Just takes on and then off load the ball. Oh. Incredible. Incredible to see him. I mean, this is who's playing. For LA, you've got one of the greatest ever rugby players. Just, he is a happy man. But yeah, Pat Gitto is playing for LA again. They're obviously going to be favourites with quality of Matt Gitto and the other players that I've mentioned, that whole team of quality. But yeah. So they play out of the LA Memorial Coliseum. Wow. I mean, just looking at this. Wow. UCS playing there. Imagine if this was full of rugby fans. That would be incredible. 
that would be incredible it's 77 and a half thousand seats now of course this covid time so it's obviously going to be a lot less but 77,000 seater stadium so if you're unaware of your local team and where they are they're in whatever area this is Aye. Craig Lang, modernity beckons. Craig Lang, tomorrow's already here. Craig Lang. Shite hole. So this is clearly an older picture. But it's right next to the football field. Soccer for you Americans. Swimming pool's right next to it. But just, just incredible how awesome that is. Open ball. I mean, imagine, imagine if this was a rugby game. That would be incredible. Just wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. Americans do stadiums like no one else on this world. There are some amazing spectacles that you have, these old fashioned stadiums. But if this does interest you, we have lots of tickets. So here is their schedule. Uh, their first game is against the New England Free Jacks. And if you do fancy this, here's what is open. Now, I'm going to say this is due to COVID. Shut up, dick. That there is only a few open here. But their tickets go from $27, which is pretty reasonable. It's cheaper than most. And it does surprise me being LA that these tickets are so cheap. I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked by that. But anyway, and the VIP section over here, $270 is not too bad to have VIP seating at the side of the pitch, considering some of the teams it's double that I mean I think San Diego is a lot more than that if I remember rightly <laughs> so very impressive they're clearly going to be a little bit quieter over this side but I'd get in there and I'd party like crazy I'd try and get either these three sections here right in the middle of the field have an incredible time seven dollars for LA is spectacularly cheap I would expect maybe even forty dollars for that really shocked really shocked so get down there and support your local club now I hear you say oh, I can't get there have no fear we have the rugby network now I'm not sponsored by these guys I'm not affiliated with these guys that's where I see things just a little differently. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. Sorry, you feel that way, but basically it's the nature of the beast. Maybe I'm wrong on this one, but for me, the beast doesn't include selling out. But you can watch all the games. You can have some rugby education on here. They do a rugby 101. They can help you out. And you can watch every single game here live. You can watch the highlights. You can watch anything you want. Playback. Everything. They have tons of games. And you can watch the LA Final versus Atlanta. Where they won. Spoiler. Sorry. But they offer a lot to see here. And it also comes as an app. On your phone, tablet, all that good stuff. I, like I said, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with these guys. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. But it really is worth what, uh, checking out this. Great product. 
really great product. I use it myself. So I've got to push it out there and see what is what. And I hope you enjoy it too. So, as always, support your local club. It really does help them. If you like it, get a season ticket. Buy some merch. The tops are reasonably nice. They have the, the black and pink. They have the white and blue. Yeah, support your local club. Like Everyone needs the support at this moment in time through COVID. So, they will appreciate it. And hey, if you love it, take your family, take some friends. Get down there. Just get down there and enjoy the whole experience. So, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video around. I thank you for watching. Stay awesome.